And now here again is Sister Joan Chittister. Joan, your compelling message on prayer as an interior experience, a practice of dialogue with God who resides in our own hearts. But what do you say to people who call that a preoccupation with self? Well, in a sense, they're not completely wrong. Uh, but you have to be very careful that you don't assume that the spirituality of the self uh, is a neurotic enterprise. If I don't know myself, if I, if I refuse to face myself, then, then I get caught, then I'm really caught in the mystique of the self. I'm refusing to accept either the gifts or the challenges in my life. I just brush them off. And, what, and, and we have a word for it. We call it superficial, and it is superficial. If I have nothing that I have wrestled with interiorly, what do I have to bring to a conversation with someone else who's wrestling? We all know Joan Chittister leads the life of, a, of prophetic action in ministry. What is the connection between the contemplative life and prophetic action in service for others in solidarity with those who suffer? Absolutely the, the right question. I've lived in a Benedictine monastery over 50 years where we are praying the Psalms and the scriptures together a minimum of three times a day, reading them for another hour in private and personal reflection. What is the connection? The connection is the fuel, the energy, the direction. It's not discipline, it is the search. Uh, once I hear the cry of the poor in the Psalms, and I see the cry of the poor uh, on the block in which I live, I, there is no way that praying those psalms can be real for me if I don't make them real on the block in which I live. Joan, how has your writing changed? And I've noticed the word wounded appears more recently in your writing and lectures since Iraq. Uh, Lydia, I, you know, I, I, I have been involved in this for over 30, 35 years. Uh, I, I find myself now in those places of suffering. I'm looking into the face of the wounded and the dying uh, who, who are pawns now, just victims and pawns of systems who aren't even bothering to count them. Don't even tell us how many of them have died or, or will live without arms and legs because some people somewhere decided that other people shall fight their wars for them. I think, um, I think I, I'm living immersed in the notion of woundedness, but not of despair. I know that we can take that woundedness, we can see that woundedness as the call to change our own lives here for their sake. Call to Question is your latest book. Say a word. Well, it's not a personal memoir. It's a, it's a memoir of the way I myself have worked through these questions that you're asking in my own spiritual journal. Thanks for sharing those with us, Sister Joan Chittister. You're the best. <laughs>